wishing to testify in opposition to Assembly Bill 226. Please come on up. And we will go ahead and start down in Las Vegas. So down in Las Vegas, if you could please hit that microphone button, identify yourself, and proceed. Hello, my name is Anastasia Sin. I'm in Las Vegas. I'm a magician, and I'm here to oppose the bill for several reasons. Um, I have 21 implants. 15 of those are RFID and FC microchips. I use them in my act. I use them to perform, and I could probably get you a list of about 50 other performers in this town that use them. Um, I brought my door lock that I use to demonstrate how I can use it to unlock my door. But what I think the main problem here is that uh, the majority of the people that are opposing this bill don't understand what these microchips are capable of doing. I wanted to show you how close you have to be to an NFC microchip to actually get a reading off of it. Also to, to let you know it's impossible to track anyone with a microchip. If it was possible, you would know where your lost cats and dogs are because uh, you could just <laughs> go and find them. This is what the microchips look like. Uh, I put my own in, and I can program them to open a website, which is when you say medical records can be acquired, that's because somebody who owns the microchip, that would be me, the person who put it in their own body, programmed it to do that. So I actually have a chip um, right here, for example. Here's a, sorry about the tattoo, but this is my husband, the amazing Jonathan. He's a Las Vegas entertainer. He was on the strip for 15 years. But when I scan this, I don't know if you can see it or not, it actually initiates a phone call to my husband. So I scan my tattoo of my husband, and it calls him, which is kind of neat. Um, I have another chip here that I've programmed just to speak to you guys today to show you how I can make it say, you pick the three of clubs, or anything that I want it to say. So I'll scan that chip. Hello, my name is Anastasia Sin. I am a magician in Las Vegas, and I use microchip implants in my career. I also brought some with me so you can see how harmless they are. I programmed this chip to say this to you. I can program it over and over again to do things like unlock doors or safes or my phone or my computer. It also acts as secondary verification for when I log into Facebook. In this day and age, it's nice to have extra security by having a key that only you can access. So just trying to give you some examples of things I can do. I have other chips that I scan and they open up YouTube videos. I can change them at any time to do whatever I want. It's not as sinister as you're making it out to seem. There is no way to track these unless you physically touch my body. Nobody controls these chips but me. Nobody programs them but me. I'm 100% with you against having anyone forced to do this. Nobody should ever be forced to do it. But I truly believe that when you enter the bodily autonomy aspect of it, that you're, you're crossing into some dangerous territory. Um, and Speaking as someone who, who lives and loves in Las Vegas, you're going to make a lot of criminals out of a lot of your entertainers if you try and pass this bill. Um, I want to just give you the, if you want to see my door lock, this is a simulation door lock. If I close, this simulates the door being closed, and then it locks. I can actually just wake it up by touching it and use my chip that's in this hand. Of course, it's making a liar. This is how hard it is for them to scan, by the way. They don't scan as easily as you think. You have to be touching the reader. You can't do it from feet away, as somebody had mentioned. That's impossible. There are no readers that do that. NFC stands for Near Field Communication. RFID stands for Radio Frequency ID. You cannot read an RFID from much closer than this. And you have control of it. RFID, really, when you get them, it just has a number imprinted on it. You can actually change that number, program it to whatever you like. Um, I have so many things I'd like to say, but um, I guess I want to ask if you guys have any questions for me, because you're probably wondering, um, yeah. Thank you. I think the whole room may have some questions, but I know, um, I know that we do have one senator who does, Senator Scheibel. I'm trying to contain my excitement. Um, I'll just ask. Can you repeat what show you're in in Las Vegas and how we can come see it? Anastasia Sin again for the record. I actually just performed at the Griffin downtown last night. Um, I do little shows here and there. My husband, the amazing Jonathan, is retired. So we don't do a lot of work here in town, but we perform at the Magic Castle for fun sometimes and at Brookledge in, in Los Angeles. We have uh, five shows coming up in two weeks in Detroit, so I'll be there. And the documentary about his and my life is going to be premiering at the Gala Sun, uh, Film Festival here in Las Vegas on the 28th at the Palms. So 
there's that, which has nothing to do with this. But um, would you consider coming to Carson City? <laughs> I would come to Carson City in a heartbeat if it meant that I could stop this bill from going through. And I would be happy to show you how all of my implants work. I can actually, um, I, have, I have the world's largest magnet here that I use in my act. I have a magnet in my tragus that allows me to hear secretly inside my head. I control all of my implants. Okay. Nobody can tell me what to do with my implants. I use them for my, my, my show. And, Honestly, I know another woman who put in 45 microchips and programmed them with poetry. And then she did an art display in Germany and stood there and people were able to scan her. They had to touch her and scan her and they would read the poetry throughout her body. It was really, really beautiful. So, you know, I guess that would be self-expression, but that's RFID self-expression. So now we, we have to cut that art out of the world as well? I don't understand. I really don't. I am all about technology. I love it. I have wearables that I wear. I like to know how my heart is racing, because right now it really is. And um, I just like to know where I stand. I'm in control of all my own information, and I love it. I, gosh, everyone should love it. I, I think you have a thoroughly interested, um, I think, many people here in, in, in the room. So I want to thank you for being here to testify and to kind of show us how some of this works.